Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Today we will have another interesting video as we'll be comparing the leading RAW editors Capture One Pro 2023 and DxO Photo Lab 6. Which one should you be using? That's what we will be determining in today's video. Stick around till the end as at the end of the video, I'll also tell you which one I actually use. By the way, do watch out for my companion video where I will be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of images edited with Capture One Pro and DxO Photo Lab 6. Do watch out for that. Capture One costs $299 US dollars for the perpetual license and $24 US dollars a month subscription. That's the most expensive price in raw editing and more than double what you're going to pay for the industry standard Lightroom. But that cost may or may not be reasonable depending on the value you place on its features. Interestingly, last December, Capture One courted some controversy when they made a change to their terms of service. The change was perpetual license holders were not going to get any new feature updates after the date of purchase. The normal practice is to get at least one year of updates. To make a long story short, this rubbed perpetual license holders the wrong way as the company seemed to be prioritizing subscription over the perpetual license holders. Here is one comment which encapsulated the feeling of some perpetual license holders. In this comment, the person was disappointed by the move. He thought that the move was all about optimizing profits over the interests of the customers, and it seemed to him that priority was given to subscription-based customers over the perpetual license customers. So some controversy there at the end of last year. DxO Photo Lab 6, on the other hand, cost a much lower $219 US dollars perpetual license. They do not have a subscription option. So let's look at the advantages of Capture One Pro 2023 to justify the hefty $299 US dollar price tag. I would cite four reasons to get Capture One. First is its top quality tone adjustments, specifically shadows, highlights, blacks, brightness. The tone adjustments of Capture One are the best for three reasons. First, highly targeted adjustments. This means the shadow adjustments hit just the shadows and the highlight adjustments hit mostly the highlights. The adjustments of Capture One also produce pleasing natural looking color throughout the adjustment while maintaining strong detail and great contrast. Capture One's tone adjustments also have excellent dynamic range. This means its adjustments recover more detail in severely underexposed or overexposed areas than its competitors. The second advantage of Capture One is its color editor. Capture One, through a powerful widget, allows you to make precise selections of ranges of colors on which to apply HSL adjustments. In addition, HSL adjustments in Capture One can be limited to masked areas, something which DxO Photo Lab 6 can't do. So if you're interested in color editing, Capture One has the more powerful feature set. The third reason to get Capture One is its powerful layers implementation. Not only are its layers easier to understand than its competitors, Capture One also has the best in class masking with its magic brush and quick mask. Both rank second only to Lightroom's AI-based object masking in its intuitiveness and ease of use. Its masking brush is my favorite masking brush to use in raw editing as it is fast, hits the edges correctly, and represents the mask accurately. The fourth reason to get Capture One is its powerful photo manager. Not only is its photo manager's interface beautifully designed and fast and fluid, it has a boatload of features very similar to Lightroom's photo manager. It supports video, HEIC files, iPhone raw files, which DxO does not. It allows you to search with much more criteria than DxO Photo Lab 6. For example, you can search for images with a particular file size, something both DxO and even Lightroom can't do. You can create albums, smart albums, and much more. So those are the four reasons to get Capture One, but are there any disadvantages? I've always said that no raw editor is perfect and Capture One is no exception. Its main disadvantages 
are two, in my opinion. The first disadvantage is its so-so performance of its clarity slider. Clarity is important to enhance detail and make images pop. Capture One's clarity slider is not as effective as its competitors in enhancing detail in the right areas. It also produces more halos than its competitors, making it unsuitable to use in many situations. Neither Lightroom or DxO produce these unsightly halos. The second disadvantage is the performance of its haze adjustment. A haze adjustment is supposed to enhance color and contrast in dull, low contrast areas of an image. As you can see, Capture One incorrectly, in my view, darkens the shadows too much, not the way a haze adjustment is supposed to work. It's supposed to focus on the washed out areas of the image and not over darken the shadows. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of Capture One, but how about DxO Photo Lab 6? I'll cite four advantages of DxO Photo Lab 6. The first advantage of DxO Photo Lab 6 are its tone adjustments as well, which also produce excellent color and has great dynamic range. Not as good as Capture One though, and I'll expound more about this in a moment. DxO's adjustments produce vivid, bold color in any situation, and its beautiful color is most apparent in night shots, where its images look less washed out than its competitors. It also has a unique slider called Smart Lighting, which can be used to bring back detail in high contrast situations. The second advantage of DxO is its deep prime noise reduction and its ability to improve lens sharpness. I've already detailed the top quality results of its noise reduction in other videos, so I won't repeat myself here. Suffice to say, every other RAW editor's noise reduction pales in comparison with DxO's. By the way, going back to Capture One, if noise is a problem, I recommend augmenting Capture One with Topaz Labs Denoise or DxO Pure RAW when editing high ISO photos. In addition to its best-in-class noise reduction, DxO has unique technology to improve lens sharpness, which is tailored to the lens and camera used to take the shot. As you can see, it works great, producing sharper images without the artifacts. The third advantage of DxO Photo Lab 6 is its clear view haze reduction. I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again, that clear view is the best haze adjustment in raw editing. Its results are not easy to replicate manually by moving HSL sliders, and I've recovered many photos with clear view which I would have otherwise discarded. You can see in this comparison how much better clear view haze reduction is compared to Capture One's haze reduction. DxO clear view hits the right spots and not over darkens the shadows as Capture One's haze reduction does. The fourth advantage is DxO's clarity adjustment, or as it calls it, its micro contrast adjustment. It is far superior to Capture One's clarity adjustment. As you can see here, it enhances details in a more pleasing manner than Capture One, and it does so without producing ugly halos as Capture One's clarity adjustment does. In this comparison, you can see how much better DxO's micro contrast adjustment works compared to Capture One. It evenly enhances details in both the foreground and the sky. Capture One seems to mostly hit just the edges. The final advantage of DxO Photo Lab 6 is its control point local adjustments. It's the easiest method of making precise selections. It works by simply clicking on an area and sizing a circle. It uses both the color and brightness of the clicked area to generate the mask and requires much less effort than manual brushing. The mask can be enhanced with sliders, and you can also remove the effect of a mask by something called a negative control point. It's very flexible and very easy to use at the same time. So now let's turn to DxO Photo Lab 6 disadvantages. I would point to four disadvantages of DxO Photo Lab 6 compared to Capture One. So the first disadvantage is its tone adjustments have less dynamic range and color accuracy than Capture One. You can see here how Capture One's tone adjustments is able to recover the color and detail in the sky correctly, while DxO does so incorrectly by producing a gray color instead of a blue color 
that was what was present in the scene. So less dynamic range and color accuracy, especially in the highlights. Here's another example where DxO Photo Lab 6 has problems getting back detail in the blown out sky. Again, this is an issue of the highlights. You actually need to use DxO Smart Lighting to assist the slider in order to bring back detail in the sky, which is not what I prefer. I'd rather that the highlight slider would be able to recover the highlights by itself without relying on a global adjustment like the DxO Smart Lighting. So blown out skies, DxO Photolab 6 has a disadvantage over Capture One. The second disadvantage of DxO Photolab 6 is its limited photo manager. While its photo manager is very well designed and has great performance, it is much more choosy in the files that it supports compared to Capture One and frankly, every other raw editor out there. With DxO, you're going to see a lot of the cannot be processed because camera is not supported error. Unlike Capture One, DxO's photo manager does not support video, nor does it support HEIC files, nor does it support iPhone RAW files past the iPhone 10. So if you need to manage or edit any of those file types, it's best to look elsewhere. The final disadvantage of DxO Photo Lab 6, there's no local HSL adjustment support. What this means is DxO's HSL adjustments just work globally. You cannot mask an area and perform HSL adjustments just on that area as Capture One and many other raw editors allow for. So which one should you pick? So pick Capture One Pro 23 if price is not an issue, you prefer Capture One's precise tone adjustments, which are highly targeted and have greater dynamic range than DxO, particularly in the highlights. You prefer Capture One's natural looking color. You find Capture One's haze and clarity adjustment good enough. You need a more fully featured photo manager. You don't mind paying extra for an additional noise reduction tool. You need precise color editing. On the other hand, Pick DxO Photo Lab 6 if you find value in DxO's flagship tools, and that includes deep prime noise reduction, clear view haze reduction, and micro contrast. You like the bold colors produced by DxO processing. And in our next video, we're going to be doing a slideshow comparison between Capture One and DxO Photo Lab 6, so you can see the differences in colors that are produced. And there are differences. Pick Photolab 6 if you're willing to accept that your photo manager has limitations, it's not fully featured, and does not support a lot of file types. Pick DxO Photolab 6 if you find global HSL adjustments good enough, you do not need to mask and apply HSL adjustments. And then finally, pick DxO Photolab 6 if you like DxO's control point masking. This is a unique masking system, which I think is pretty good. But if you like the traditional masking brush, Capture One's masking brush is better than DxO Photo Lab 6. So before I conclude, let me answer some final questions. First, I ask the question, which is the better RAW editor, Capture One Pro 23 or DxO Photo Lab 6? In my opinion, the better RAW editor is still Capture One Pro 23 because of its tone adjustments. I've always said that when judging a raw editor, its most important feature is the quality of its tone adjustments and Capture One's tone adjustments is better than DxO's. For that reason, I'm going to say Capture One is the better raw editor. That brings us to the next question, which one do I personally use? Well, despite saying that Capture One is the better raw editor, I actually use DxO Photo Lab 6. If you follow this channel, you know that I do take a lot of high ISO, low light shots and not necessarily with large sensor cameras. I appreciate the ability of DxO Deep Prime to improve noise in my images. Personally, I also like the vivid colors DxO produces, especially at night, which I find more striking than the competition, including Capture One. I also find both clear view and micro contrast very useful for making my images pop, which I can't get with Capture One Pro. So for me, 
The one I use is DxO Photo Lab 6. But what about you? Let me know what you prefer. DxO Photo Lab 6 or Capture One Pro 23? I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.